a big crash on the track. And the leader, the second place rider, Thomas, has just hit the deck. So has Hashimoto. But this is the story because Benjamin Thomas now has hit the deck and he is the rider who is in the silver medal position. And now this is going to be because they just have to get back up on the track. It isn't going to be neutralised. It's a full-on race now and the Frenchman has to get back on the track. But the Frenchman now has reacted. He is looking to put himself back in the medals and take the final points of the night. What an incredible ride by this young Frenchman. This would put him possibly into gold medal if none of the other riders score the points. Well, he's got hardly any lycra on his backside, but right now he's absolutely motoring around this track. Three laps to go. This Frenchman is getting the crowd on his feet. Listen to the crowd going right now. Jonathan Dibbon reacts. Benjamin Thomas is there. Dibbon is absolutely flying around this track. One lap to go now. One lap to go. It is a pursuit between Thomas and Dibbon. Dibbon is going for it now. Jonathan Dibbon is absolutely motoring. The caterer is there. Is this going to be enough? He needs big place. Jonathan Dibbon crosses the line. What a sprint. But Graf took second place. They are going to be equal on points. Yeah, um, it's more of a sprint than an attack. Uh, the Oya 2 had to catch the French guy and get the five points for the win. So just saved it the last 10 laps and 100% to the line. As you can hear, the crowd was unbelievable, you know. Every time I open my mouth, move left, move right, it was a massive cheer and it just keeps your morale up. And Yeah, massive, unbelievable. In the home crowd, it was massive. The world title uh, in your home country it doesn't get much better. Jonathan Dibbon wins in front of his home crowd and puts the entire velodrome on their feet. The rainbow bands that signify a world champion